I'm Joe from Epic Vessel Games, and I'll be taking you through the development of our roguelike project. We haven't got a name for our title yet. That's mostly because the original name doesn't apply anymore, and, well, nobody liked it in the first place. The game will follow most typical roguelike standards. Showing in this video is our random dungeon designer. This was scripted to be editable and customizable. In addition to giving us more freedom, the player will also be able to create some custom dungeons and share them with their friends. I've slowed down the process so you can see how a dungeon is created. The code uses an algorithm to dynamically generate various rooms. It can be set to create precise rooms of a particular size, or more random so that more open spaces, hallways, and various room layouts are created. What you currently see is the default dungeon. We chose to go with an atmospheric look of darkness and the unknown. We want the player to feel that danger is right around the corner, because usually, it will be. Because of the roguelike nature of the game, the deco items won't usually have animation. If you do see something that has life to it, you can bet it's something special. We've played a lot of roguelike games. Picking how the character moves was not a light decision. There are many small nuances that can change the pace, style, and feel of the game. We chose to go with a turn-based style that lets the player complete their move before the AI makes their moves. I think this taps into the more strategic facade of roguelikes by letting the player consume the moves and plan for their next action. We also gave some gross animations to the moves of each character. Instead of a simple sliding token, an instant moving icon, or a fully animated sprite, we gave a hopping sort of action to the character. We also direct their 1D facing direction, as is typical. This video only hopes to show the basic dungeon design and basic character walking functions. The enemies here don't do much, other than chase the player if they're spotted. You'll notice, however, that if one of these little skeletons collides with the player, a blood animation ensues. Of course, a skeleton won't be creating showers of blood, but we want to test how to best impact the play environment. Drawing blood and other effects seem like a good way to let you know where you've been and what you've done. Well, we hope you enjoyed taking a first look at Epic Vessel's latest endeavor. We're hoping to find alpha testers among our audience, so if you want to help us out, please follow our game. We thought the best way to pick is from our pool of supporters. You can visit our website at www.epicvesselgames.com or check out our other title, Potion Master. Thanks for watching. Look for another update in about a week. Thank you.